What is going on today guys, Tomcat here, and today we are back in Spin Tires Mud Runner uh, with another mod that I'm really excited to show you guys. This is the Nyx Sniper Crawler. Now this thing is really cool because it's a single seat crawler buggy. Um, you're dealing with like solid front and rear, solid front and rear axle, cage, um, and very minimal body work. You get one add-on, and that's it. You get one add-on, and that is that that is all you get. So... If I can figure out how to get out of, oh, really, 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 there. I was like, if I could figure out how to get out of advanced mode, that'd be lovely. But um, we're going to go ahead and put the repair kit on it so we can uh, repair it in case we get too much damage. But we're going to go ahead and drive the Yukon one, well, the one in the Yukon livery anyway. And we're going to show you, uh, I'm going to show you around the map and show you what this thing can do um, in relation to a lot of the other vehicles. Now, the cool thing about having a crawler buggy is the fact that you really have no body work to think about. You really you don't have to worry about body work. You can go wherever you want. And by the way, the detail in this thing is just beautiful. Like look how much detail there is. So much more than the first game. It's like it's incredible. You can see the detail on the on the radiator mounted in the back. You can see the detail on the suspension and the axles which I I I I can't help but think that these axles are a little bit thin for this kind of application with this size of a tire, but that's just me. I mean, I feel like that's something that'd be up to the builder, um, up to the, you know, the modder, the creator, whatever you want to call it. But in the long run, though, like overall, it's a really, really cool vehicle. Now, I personally, I really, really like using buggies because you can, like I said before, go wherever you want and not really have to worry about body work and getting caught on things and stuff like that. But I wonder if it can do something that some of the buggies in the first game could do and that is climb trees oh yeah it it, it it climbs trees that's awesome let me try that again actually i mean it'll climb it it won't stay there obviously but it'll climb them that's legit though i think here oh actually what i'm gonna do is take it to wow that zoomed out a bunch i'm gonna take it to this mountain over here and show you guys how this thing can crawl because it really is a beast of a crawler. I'm going to go ahead and put it in low 3 because it really does crawl very well in low 3. Um, and yes, you do run into the, you know, the rock glitch from the old days of the first game every once in a while. But as long as you're on like a, a surface that was made to be driven on, you're pretty much fine. But as you can see here, the grip is nuts. Like it's absolutely insane grip up these hills. Now, when it starts to get really, really steep, you're going to have to get kind of crafty with your line. But when you figure out a line that works, you're going to, like, you're, you can just cruise right up. If you could find a little bit of extra grip. That, there you go. There she goes. There she goes. Not bad. Dude, that wasn't bad at all. See, this thing is a great way to, a great way to actually start rock crawling in the game because you're not dealing with, you know, something with massive, massive power that's going to jump all over the place. Um, and the thing is with those, you know, the ones that have massive power, they, you know, they're fun, but the game doesn't really seem to like the way they work and it, it doesn't like the way they get grip because if, if they've got, you know, so much grip and so much power, we almost actually flipped it there, but it's, see, that's the thing is this thing's so easy to manage that you can almost you know, get it to the brink of flipping, and then just be like, nah, we're all good. It's always surprising to me, though, how deep that little creek is. Like, you go right over, and you're just like, eh, whatever, but it is so ridiculously deep. Like, look right here. We're gonna go through this one. It is, it, it's insane. It nearly drowned the whole vehicle. I mean, there's not a lot of areas where, you know, you're like, oh yeah, it'll be fine, and then you go into it, and you're like, oh my god. This may not have been a good idea. I have no, no clue why the rocks are flickering like that. That's actually a very new thing for me. I've never seen him do that before. But at the same time, I've never been all the way up here on this map before. Because normally, I don't think they would expect you to come up here. But the cool thing about Spin Tires Mudrunner is the fact that, and even really the first game, is that everything on the map is modeled, or at least pretty much everything is modeled, so that it can be driven on because they expect you to explore. They want you to explore. And they, the way the game is designed promotes that exploration. And it's no different here in Mudrunner. It's really no different at all. And I think they've done an amazing job, um, amazing job with that. 
Now, oh, yep. That's unlocked, but man. That is in a bad way. Oh, wow. That is, that is in a bad way. A really bad way. I wonder, should we just use our repair points on it? My question is, does it have fuel? Because if it has fuel... Yes, it does. You know what I'm gonna do? Dude, I'm gonna refuel the... I'm gonna refuel the crawler. And I know it doesn't really use that much fuel, but just so we don't have to think about it at all... Yes! Only... I mean, it's only got a 350 liter tank, so... Let's see... Change truck. Back to the sniper crawler. Now we're full. Now we can go wherever we want. And not really worry about it at all. But like I said, this thing doesn't really use that much fuel, because... It's a small, lightweight little crawler that really all it all it has to push around is this, you know, tube frame and some really thin, you know, really thin body panels and some big tires. And that's really all it has to push around. Need to grab this, uh, this watch point. See, this is the only problem with this thing. Trying to fit it, you know, fit it into, like, tiny, uh, like tiny wooded areas of the map. Let's take it out on the... Ooh, let's take it out on the beach. The thing is, I don't know if this is much of a beach either. It, it, might, it might be just, like, completely and totally, uh, like, rugged, rocky terrain. But we'll have to... Oh, it's not bad. It's not too, too bad. See, the problem becomes... The, the problem ends up being when you start to get going fast, and the game is like, Oh, you're not supposed to go that fast. You get all the damage. And they've really, and I've never really understood that. I mean, I'm sure there's going to be um, some tools at some point that come out for the game to kind of eliminate that. But they, they really don't like for you to go fast uh, over over rocky terrain especially. Uh, but even like just dirt, you know, with little hills and mounds and stuff like that, they really don't like for you to go fast on it, which I'm not exactly sure why they do that. I just know that they do do that. So it's here. Oh, this will be perfect little rock pile for us to climb on. You know what, though? Oh, we need to test out the flex. Yes, we need to put this thing through a true flex test. This right here might be a bit much for it, but... Yeah, that's a little bit more than I feel like it would be having to handle, but... Need a good... This might... Oh, this angle might work. Yeah, that angle might work. Dip down and through. See, the thing is, I haven't really found... Oh, wait. Nope, 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 nope. I know where we're going. Yep, I know where we're going to test the flex. Right here on the corner. Oh, come on. This thing has a problem with its tires slipping off. Doesn't really seem to like the... Oh, there we go. Nope. No, every time it hits, it just like turns big time okay see that's not bad that's not bad at all I feel like it could definitely flex more but like for the time being right now that's really good flex and it I mean it does a good job of it it really does it does a really good job of getting up on the rock flexing out and then stopping it's just like I feel like there's still a couple of issues uh, with the with the tire grip in terms of like in terms of rocks I don't know if that's just me or if that's the way this thing was specifically designed I mean if that's the way this thing was specifically designed then I completely get it if it was designed that way to resemble a more realistic feel I completely get it let's try flexing out here oh we can definitely oh no we found max yeah we found a max flex because it started to pick up the other side I mean that's really good flex so it started like when we started to back down it tripoded a little bit so Whenever it tripods, that's generally where you find your maximum flex. And it's it's not bad. It's actually not bad at all. This is one of the most realistic performing vehicles I think I've driven so far in spin tires, especially in terms of suspension articulation, um, in terms of mods. I said spin tires, didn't I? I meant Mud Runner. I meant Mud Runner. Come on. And, ooh. And see, that's the thing, is like, every time you drive this thing, you find new areas where you're like, I could climb that, or I want to climb that, or whatever. Oh, oh, there we go. Come on. Now, 
Now, a general rule of thumb, at least in my book, is if it can't, if it can't rock crawl it, try to rock bounce it, which worked really well. And now we're on top of it. Not bad. Oh, dude. Hey, if you can't rock crawl it, rock bounce it. You might get a little bit of damage that way, but you know what? Who cares? I mean, I've still got all those extra repair points. Come on. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Up onto the next. Oh, oh my god. That is a hell of a tripod. Holy crap. I might back up a little bit from that. Yeah, I might back up a little bit from that one. Turn the other way. Just kind of keep it moving. Oh, keep yourself moving. Come on. There she go. Uh oh, it's glitched. Only thing is, can we unglitch it? And is it easier to do than it was in the first game? Eh, it wasn't bad. Like it wasn't bad in my in my book. That 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 came out of the rock pretty easy. Normally they don't come out of the rocks that easily. Um, but see, that's the other thing too. Is like you don't really ever think about like when it glitches out. Like in the first game, that would be like you would be done. It would be stuck in the rock. And you would just have to sit there and get another truck or rescue it to the garage. In this game, it doesn't do too badly. It doesn't do too badly at all. I mean, like, you can still, like, extract the tire from the rock and it'll be okay. Got the other garage. We just don't have any points to, to drop off at it. So we're going to just kind of roll right on by. Can't wait to do some modded maps. See, that's another thing that I'm so excited for. So, so excited for. Because with the modded maps, there's so much more detail here. The gameplay is so much smoother that I... Dude, I'm going to be blown away. I guarantee I'm going to be blown away by what the community is going to be able to do with mod maps for Mudrunner. It's just going to be so, so sick. A little bit of... Oh, we got another, another little watch. And the thing is, I'm just having fun exploring, driving this thing, you know... Literally just finding a like a rock like a rock mound or rock pile and be like, hey, I can climb on that. And I guarantee I can climb on that. Ooh. Speaking of stuff you can climb on. We climbed the other side. I wonder if we can climb that side. Yeah, I wonder if we can climb that side of the mountain. I'm literally just gonna go straight through the woods to get there. I feel like it's a it's like an easy direct way. And plus, there's really not that much of a chance of us getting stuck. The only thing, the only thing that this thing doesn't like is deep mud. Deep mud, this thing hates. But, I mean, that's just something you gotta deal with. The tire compound, I feel like, is the way they've got it coded and the way they've got it set up is set up, undoubtedly, for rocks and, like, for crawling, you know, for rocks and stuff like that. The mud grip on this setup is not great. I mean, like, as you can see right here, it's not very good at all in terms of mud grip, but, I mean, you kind of, you kind of sometimes have to expect that with something that was designed to rock crawl, um, especially, like, it was this way in the first game, too, like, and it seems to, it seems like Mud Runner is following the same trend of, like, if the, if a vehicle is really good on the rocks, then it's not gonna be that great in the mud, and vice versa, like, if it's great in the mud, probably not gonna be that good on the rocks. So, that's just something to keep in mind uh, when you're testing out vehicles and picking mods and stuff like that. You you really want to pick what best suits your application. Now, I'm going to put the parking brake on, shift it into low three, carry on, and see how it is going up this side uh, of the mountain because this side just looks to be a little bit steeper. I would definitely say, yeah, it definitely looks a bit steeper to me. Oh, it is steeper. This thing's having to work. It's having to work hard. All right, I'm gonna roll back. See if I can get it into second and then get it into high. There she goes. Come on. Oh, 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 oh. I bet it can do it. Yes, yes, yes. Don't let up. Don't let up. Don't let up. Oh my God. Oh my God. This thing is a mini rock bouncer now. Holy crap, guys. It's gonna make it. Oh, I know it's gonna make it. Oh, I know it's gonna make it. Yes! Oh my god, we freaking did it. That was awesome. 
thing is so much fun to drive, so much fun to drive. But if you guys enjoyed this video, this mod review in Spin Tires Mud Runner, don't forget to leave me a like. Tell me in the comments down below what you guys thought of it. And if you're new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe for more Spin Tires Mud Runner and other games every single, every single day in your inbox. And I'll see y'all next time. Talk to you guys later.